This is problem number five from section 4.3. In this problem, they want you to uh, take this polynomial, which has four terms, and divide it by this binomial, which has two terms, but one of the terms is degree one. I think the smartest thing to do anytime you have a degree one binomial on the bottom, synthetic division. It's pretty quick. Now we have to watch out with our synthetic division when we do this. Because in this problem, our leading coefficients, one for the x to the fourth term, negative two for x cubed term, and then we skip the x squared term, so I gotta put a zero in for the x squared term. And then negative one for the x term, and then put in a two for the constant term. Now remember, I'm bringing down the one to start, then it's a series of multiplication and addition. So multiply two times one, that's two. Add it, zero. Multiply it, zero. Add it, zero. Multiply it, that's zero. Add it, it's negative one. Multiply, you get negative two. Add it, you get zero. So remember, this is the remainder term right here. This is our constant term. This would be our x term, our x squared, and our x cubed. We kind of work our way backwards there. I'll put remainder term right there. And we know when we take x to the fourth over x, we're going to have x cubed as our first one. That just um, makes perfect sense. So we end up with x cubed minus 1 and no remainder. How do I know that this is the solution? Well, they say check your answer. The best way to check your answer is to take what you got for your solution and multiply it by what you divided by, x minus two. If you end up with what you started with, you did it correctly. So let's do this checking part. We're gonna take x cubed minus one, multiply it times x minus two. x cubed times x, x to the fourth, x cubed times negative two, minus two x cubed. Negative 1 times x minus x, negative 1 times negative 2 plus 2. That's what we started with. So what we started with, so we can say just check that off. It worked out.